is just a short trip across I-40 for these two in-state rivals to do battle. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. taken down at the 36. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 33. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Here's the halfback on the screen, and down he goes, the 39-yard line. Knight gains six yards with a short completion. Newsom is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. The Tar Heels having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. So he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy un totally understands his responsibility as being a go-to player. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 47. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. Quick strike to the back, no good. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. He wants it all going long. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. Of Lyman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six play, 82 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Carolina is looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. 
special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That'll make it seven to seven. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. They come out on an empty backfield. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Brought down at the 46 yard line. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 46. by the running back. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That makes it so the number. Fourth and long here after the sack. Gill to punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. North Carolina is up by a touchdown. Fired quickly and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 33. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a game of one on the way. That makes it second and eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's tackled at the 44. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Harris with the tackle at the 35-yard line. That's good enough for another North Carolina first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. It's the senior, and he's hit immediately. Looking for his man, incomplete. 
This is the ninth play of this drive. North Carolina is up a score. Strike to his receiver, no good. Even though he didn't come up with it, that was a huge play because he disrupted the quarterback's rhythm. Anytime you can come that close to picking off a pass, it makes him think just a little bit more. North Carolina can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up. And the kicking team goes to the sideline very disappointed. So our count is still 7-0, North Carolina. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. First down. Tackle around the 45-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Second and two. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of five on the play. First down. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Number 29 on the tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. 36, 36. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's 2nd and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Two times, two times. First down. Three down, three down. 24 is the mic. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Call it again, two yards. That makes it 2nd and 8. And they'll run him again. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, North Carolina State. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 66-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Second and 10. Ball in the 25. Makes it out to about the 36. Gains 
gets to about the 37-yard line. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. That brings up second to nine. Throws and it's incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 37 yard line, third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. Not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. 36, 36. He's out of bounds at the 46. <laughs> Tackled for a loss. Makes the tackle. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. All day, all day, every day, any day. My 41, my 41. He's hit and taken down. They got him for a loss. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. He's got it with room to run. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And he hits the PAT. So a 12 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes it to the 34. Big opening. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. level at the 34-yard line. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Let's see what you got. Tackle made around the 47 yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the way. That'll bring up third and four. They 
it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. ten. He fires right side. And he's immediately tackled. Number 86, super reception. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of five yards. That makes it second and six. First down. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Tenth play of the drive. And down he goes around the 13 yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it third and three. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down at about the nine yard line. The offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. Nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and goal. Nice run there. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Perfect call under these circumstances. Confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Carolina State is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 31. on the play. From their own 32-yard line, third down. Green here, and the halfbacks got it. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. That'll make it 
fourth and 14. Thomas is the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mullies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Throws it in a hurry. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's to the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Run and he's brought down. Game is six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He scrambled, going deep, lays it out there, and he's tackled in the open field. With the reception, gain of 36 yards. That makes it first and ten. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 11-yard line. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fires quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Gill looks ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 43. You can see right there what speed can do for an offense. That's just a short pass, and he made something big happen. Goes after the running back, no good. From the 43 yard line, it's second down. tackled around the 35-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Gets it. He's in space. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. Throw 
is complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's taken down at the 22. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Taken down right around the 10 yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. This is the eighth play of this drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. it out right to the running back. Steps out of bounds at the five-yard line. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Slings it. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. 21-21 ball game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 35. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he's tackled right away. NC State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 36. That makes it second and two. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he can't get away from the pressure. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Takes it and he's tackled short. We've played a half. We've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Good thing we have these spectacular 1080p high definition monitors in here. All the better to see these offenses execute with precision in the first half. Yeah, I, we, I like having the old school black and white TVs too that show, that show a little bit of defense occasionally. But yeah, offense a plethora. I mean, you want to see uh, how to dial up a clinic on how to play offense? You saw it on both sides in the first half. I'm not, 
I'm not sure that there was much resistance, but it's always fun to be able to dial a play up and know that it's going to work. And every single time you go, hey, this plays money, this plays money, this plays money, and you saw it over and over and over and over. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Very close game now as we start the second half. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That's a team of three That'll make it second to seven. Here's the pass, broken up. That is a great play here by the corner to be able to knock that football away. In many cases, you'll see a corner actually try to knock the football away, and he'll interfere with the wide receiver. This time, he keeps his body and arms away from the receiver and still knocks it away. That's a big-time play. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Fourth down. Thomas, back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. Throws it deep, and it's intercepted. And they'll return this one all the way. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Mike 41, Mike 41. Quick pass, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He's on the run. Dives forward. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 24's on the move. 24's on the move. 
And he stopped behind the line. That'll bring up second and 11. Out of bounds, the 39-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. First down. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Knight gets another handoff. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Watch out here. He steps out right around the 44-yard line. Newsom is back awaiting the punt. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 33. He gets to about the 41 yard line. They'll work the left side, and they make the stop right around the 40. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Rose, the intended receiver on the play. That brings, that brings up fourth, fourth and, three. and three. Thomas is back to receive. And he's tackled at the 24. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Good tackle there in space. That makes it second and two. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of five yards. First down. He fights forward to about the 40. That'll make it second and seven. Here's the tight end. Drops. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. 
from their own 40-yard line. Third down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Gill awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. At this point, you got to think about changing something, whether it's the play calling, whether it's the quarterback. This offense is not doing anything right. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He fights forward to about the 23. That's good. After a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and three. Stop Nice run, and he's brought down. He's under pressure, throws a bullet. Almost picked off. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. complete he's got room to work and he's tackled at about the 49 Carter takes a handoff but you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. I'm coming after you, 25. I'm coming after you, 25. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. at the 35-yard line. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. He's out of bounds around the 22-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. the 12-yard line. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going up field, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. From the 12-yard line, second down. On the ground, up the middle. Gets to about the 11-yard line. He's 
got it, touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he converts the extra point. A long 15-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 28-21. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Tar Heels defense. I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. And, folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 28-21, North Carolina. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. Number 29 makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He fights forward to about the 43. that quickly incomplete he tried to hit his receiver in stride but overthrew it a little too much that'll come in time just repetition throwing that same pass over and over and he'll be fine third down now and they need to get it out to the 50. screen pass he's got his half back he's tackled in the open field Tight end on the line here on fourth and short. Nice run up the middle. Gaining four yards. First down. Tight end right. Three down, three down. Two fours the mic. Two seconds. And he throws right away. That close to being intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. So the sack makes this third and very long. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. They're coming after this punter. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. North Carolina is up a score. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. A 
on the throw. Incomplete pass. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Gain of two on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Thomas, back deep to return. Gets to about the 27 yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And he's hit immediately. He zips it. Nice catch. First down. He's knocked out. the middle for a nice game. That's good for the yards. That makes it second and six. And they hit him in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he hits him hard at the 49. Strike to his receiver, no good. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Three down, three down. North Carolina up seven points. Steps out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. The 18-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 14. That makes it second and six. And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. 
He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Makes it out to about the 40. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 50-yard line. First down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Going right to his tailback. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. to his tailback again. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. There's a fumble, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Less than three minutes in the game. The flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. Offense. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. around the 46-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. We're about set to start things up again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mike 41. Go for it. Go for it. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Got some open field. He gets to about the 24-yard line. They went back to the exact same play they just ran, and judging by the slow reaction on the other side of the ball, it was unexpected. Just under two to go in the game. Here's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Three, three. 
He has some room. And he is drilled at the 15-yard line. about the 12 yard line you know that saying get your keys out because we're on a drive this offense right now is on a drive I mean, this is their third first down they're doing just about anything they want and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down takes a knee Offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. 31-21, North Carolina. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. North Carolina came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.